Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in this one of the tutorial, we'll learn about how to build your own command line interface in Python, right? Using Clay. So Python gives you the option of using six add paths and then doc opt to create your own CLI. But in this tutorial, we'll be working with Click. So what is Click? So Click is a very nice CLI creator or app parser, which is very very useful, and it was created by the creator of Plus. So to install it, you just go with Click install Click. Right? That is how to install it. So let's create a simple file. I'm going to call this my file as custom CLI dot Perfect. I've already installed it. That's why I'm seeing comment already satisfied. Okay. Perfect. So now let's see how to work with it. So the first thing to do is first of all that's important. So import click. And then click is wonderful that it works with decorator. So what is a decorator? Simply put, a decorator is just a, a higher order function that takes another function some arguments, right? Now let's see how to quit work with it. So the first thing to do is to quit your first decorator. So click dot command. So this is this is similar to doing something like add pass add pass right dot argument passer. That is in case you are coming from add pass. Right? This is similar to something like this, whereby you store all your arguments here. So this is similar to that. But click gives you several options. So you have click dot command click to group and then several of them to do that same option okay perfect so let's create a simple function so we're going to be our main then we're going to return something so you can use print and then let's give us hello well perfect so to run this particular function you can run it like main here to run it this way or you can use the if main which is the same thing so this main is referring to this right so let's save it and let's run our particular so to run it, it's just going to go with Python custom CLI. If I run it straight away, it's going to print the hello world, which is very simple. If I go with the dash dash help, it's going to give me the documentation for the how to use it, which is which I did not specify. So that is one nice thing about it. So it's telling me how to use it. So this the usage and then the help, right? That is something very simple about it. So now let's see how to work with options. How do you create options? How do you Work with options in this particular stuff. So to work with options, to receive options, there are several ways of working with this. So we work with this basic ones. So let's call that basic options. So to work with it, just going to create a simple decorator. And then this decorator is going to be option, right? So the option is going to receive all the options. It's going to accept every option that you want to give. So you can just give it as a long form or a short form. So the long form is going to be like this. So let's give it as name. Let's go to the long form. You can also specify the short form. It's going to be like let's say dash n, right? By by convention, if it's following by this, that means that it is a an option, right? It's optional. Options mean that it's optional. You can use it or you cannot use it. So if I run with this straight away, I save it. So I'm going to pass this particular name here, here, right? So it's, it's automatically going to identify that the name that I'm referring here is coming from this option that has been supplied. So if I go with hello world. Then let's change this one to this right dot format. You can use S string if you want. Name. If I go with this hello world, then let's my name. Yeah, my name is perfect. So if I this simple stuff is going to automatically take that the option I'm applying is name, then it's going to take this name and then pass it to my function and then return it to me in my print command. So then let's see what I mean by that. So let's run it again. If I run straight away, it's going to tell me that hello world, my name is none, right? The reason it's giving me as none is that I do not supply any default value. So it's giving me as none. If I check back with the help, it's going to tell me how to use it. So option and then the end name. And the test here is referring to the particular stuff by default. So this gave me as none. So in case you don't want it to give you as none, you can supply your default, right? By going with default and supply the name. So let's say my name is John by default. Perfect. So that is going to be the default stuff. So it's not going to give me the none again, it's going to give me the default. Then you can also specify the particular help you want to write the description for the help. So it's going to be help, then supply your description. So it's going to be let's say first name. First name description. So if I see this particular stuff here and then I run it back again, 
with their help is not going to tell me that the name is test and then the first name description which is the help detail that i supplied right which is very interesting if i run this function without any argument it's going to supply my default which was john in case i run it with my option to run it i can just use the long format of name then supply the name of let's say jesse it's going to print hello world my name is jesse or we can just use the short form which is going to be n right then it's going to still print the same format for us so that is how to work with basic the basic options so in case you want to work with multiple values of options how do you do that so let's keep it as an option of this so multiple value you can spell value what values right so in case you want to work with multiple values you see multiple values so how do you do that so to do that it's just going to be like this let me copy this one it's going to be the same format but it's going to be different so the only difference for this particular type that you're going to specify the number of arguments that you want to receive receive the number of values you want to receive by going with n a r g s then let's say two right so if i go with this particular stuff it's going to give me the number of, it's going to give me the option of supplying different values by right? different values multiple values and the only multiple value that i can supply is two so let's think of this right let's not give it as a default to make it simple so that everybody can understand and then let's change this one so let's let me comment this one out let's go with this so if i run this particular stuff here and then i go with this stuff so my hello world my name is tuple right so that is giving us a tuple so this number of argument is going to create a tuple so this tuple is going to be that whatever thing you're going to supply there is going to be given and it's limited to only two values so that is how it's going to be so if i place something there let's say name let's say jesse right it's going to print it out so it requires two arguments so i have to pull the next argument so jkrs now it's going to work perfectly you see that it's receiving them as two different arguments right two different values and it's just place them inside the tuple so let's create a better function for this so i'm just going to comment this one out comment this one for the name and then let's change this one out. name to salary right then I'm going to supply this one as my default. Let's, let's give it the help of let's say enter your salary, your monthly salary. Can't spell monthly. Write your monthly salary. Perfect. So if I run this particular stuff here, let's say hello world, my name is Jesse, and then I want to supply my so my salary is this then let's pass our salary here right so by default it's going to understand and pick this particular stuff let's make it s to make it sense we have to supply this salary we have to pass the salary argument or option inside here as another argument here so salary Perfect. so if i save this and then i run it here help nope. i'm going to tell this Pivot to the name, the salary, which is giving me my description. So to run this particular stuff, I just go with this. And let's supply my name. So the name is going to be N for Jesse. And then the salary is going to be S. Here, then you play Jesse. And then let's give the salary as simple one as salary. And let's give my salary as 20,000. And then Another one has 20,400, right? Perfect. So if I run this particular stuff, so the hello world, my name is Jesse, my salary is this, right? Which is quite interesting. So it is receiving everything as a tuple. So in case I want to sum them up, how do I do that? So this option gives you the option of click, gives you the option of specifying the particular type of argument you want to receive, right? The particular type of option you want to receive inside when you're declaring it. So it's going to be like this. I can specify that type it's going to be int right so if i go with int it's one that will convert them to integer and then here i can sum them up so sum okay. 
here so if i run this particular stuff here again that we had right here to run the same stuff you can see that it has summed them automatically for us which is very interesting so that is how to work with multiple values with click right so now let's see the last one so all of all along we have been using print 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 but print is in case you are working with maybe python 2.7 you have to do this right but in case you are working with python the previous version of python that is python 2.7 you have to do this but in python 3.3 you have to do what you have been doing all along but click gives you the option of avoiding this mistake right so you can actually change this one from this to make it as click dot echo and then this click dot echo is also going to give us the same functionality as the print and it's very very powerful than the print itself okay perfect so if i run this if i save this and i run this again it's still going to work like the previous one perfect right so that is how to work with it so let's check the last one for how to work with multiple options this is multiple values now how do we work with multiple options so to work with multiple options so it's going to be the same format similar format but instead of this being click dot options now i'm going to say that let's give it a space location the place i've listed right then i'm going to give it as my help it's going to be places i have this is this is it Right, something simple so if i do it like this particular stuff to allow it to receive to accept multiple options i'm just going to go with this set multiple multiple to true so if i set multiple to true let's bring the short format also right perfect so that it works well if i set this one to true now it's going to be able to accept multiple options right not just multiple values but multiple options so this is this was a simple one so i can actually bring the l for my multiple for my location i can supply the location so let's say paris you know that i find you have created a function but we not return anything out so let's return something from it so hello world my name is this my salary is this and the format right perfect so let's see another thing we can also do let's try and see what i can do like another echo and then let's instead of making it like this let's join right dot join then i'm going to supply my location so location okay so that it's going to accept all of this stuff so let's do it this this supply location Perfect. so let's see what is going to work so same stuff so i'm going to give it as paris so hello world my name is jesse then there's my salary and location so in case i want to supply multiple options i can just go with l again then i'll supply let's say uk then another l again then i'll supply let's say key then i'll supply again let's say another l again then cry right if i run it it's going to print it perfectly for us so hello world my name is jesse then paris uk Keep a crap, right? Which is coming from this. So that is how to work with multiple options, right? So click gives you the option of doing several things. So thank you for watching this tutorial. So in case you have any question or contribution, you can just put it at the comment section so that everybody can benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.